Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem from a topic called motion in a plane. Let us first identify what is given in the problem. The problem is like this. There is a hunter aiming his gun and fires a bullet directly at a monkey on a tree. So there is a tree. So let's assume this is the tree. On this tree, on the top of the tree, there is a monkey. And there is a hunter on the ground. Here is a hunter. He is having a gun. And he aimed at that monkey this way. And he fired a bullet. With a certain velocity. Say with a velocity you. It is obvious that he has fired the bullet with an angle theta with the horizontal. Now, at the same instant, the bullet leaves the barrel. The instant the bullet leaves the barrel of the gun, the monkey drops from the tree. The monkey wants to save itself. So what it has done is it simply it has dropped down. Now we need to calculate, we need to identify, will the bullet hit the monkey or not? That's the question that we have. Let us try analyzing first the perspective of the bullet. The bullet being projected with an angle theta, it will have both horizontal motion as well as a vertical motion. So it will move like this also in a vertical motion. We know that bullet takes a kind of a parabolic path. So it will go and hit the tree somewhere here. Say let it is hitting the tree at a point A. So as the time progresses, it's very clear that the bullet has traveled a distance x on the x-axis and a distance y on the y-axis. So I want to calculate, I want to calculate what is the distance that is traveled by this bullet during this time. So I would like to say in some time t in some time t the bullet covers a horizontal and a vertical distance covers a horizontal distance of x and a vertical distance of y vertical distance of y from the point of projection i would like to calculate what is the values of that x and y are say x is equal to as I have called this velocity as u, that u can be resolved into components. u cos theta along x axis, u sin theta along y axis. This is called vector resolution. So displacement s yes, equal to we have a formula ut plus half at square. But the acceleration along the x axis is zero because the only acceleration acting is gravity that's acting along the y axis so x is equal to u cos theta into t x is nothing but equal to u cos theta into t that implies i can find t as x by u cos theta simultaneously the bullet is not only moving along x axis but it's also moving along y axis let us try identify how much is the distance that is traveled by this bullet uh, along the y-axis? So, in the same time t, in the same time, the bullet travels a distance y. I have to use the same formula, ut plus half at square. u along the y direction is u sin theta into t. a is minus g. y minus g is the bullet is trying to move in upward direction whereas the gravity which the acceleration is acting in a downward direction now 
let me substitute the value of that uh, t in this equation in one part of it so i can write y as u sin theta in the place of t i can write from this equation x by u cos theta of course minus half j t square let it be as it is therefore y equal to u and u will cancel tan theta into x minus half g t square this is the vertical distance traveled by the body tan theta into x minus half g t square or g t square by 2 further we can write going back to the basic part of the equation so what he said is the bullet fired is covering this much of the distance y but actually the monkey is here here is a monkey simultaneously this monkey also has started slipping down i want to know whether the monkey is being hit by the bullet or not so let us say the monkey covers a distance how much is the distance covered by the monkey is monkey covers a distance of so if i call this point m this point is a m a in the same time in what is that same time the time in which the bullet has covered a distance of x and y because the bullet has jumped immediately with the the monkey has jumped immediately with the bullet itself so if i want to know what's the value of that uh, m a the distance fallen freely by monkey i can write that as the entire m b minus a b so i can write m a is m b minus a b is nothing but equal to y itself but i know the value of this m b how can i get the value of this m b i know this total angle theta this is the right angle triangle that i have this is the angle of projection theta so i can write tan theta as mb opposite side by adjacent side x so mb is nothing but equal to x tan theta that implies i can write ma as x tan theta minus y where what is the y the vertical distance fallen by the bullet when it has fired a certain distance i know the value of that y also so let me substitute the value of that y from this equation so m a is that's a gap between the monkey and the distance at which the bullet has fallen vertically as x tan theta minus y what is y is x tan theta minus half g t square so its value is x tan theta minus x tan theta minus of minus plus half g t square that implies m a is nothing but equal to half g t square so we understood one point that is the bullet is short of reaching the monkey by a distance of m a that's nothing but equal to half g t square that is the bullet is missing the monkey by a distance of half g t square provided monkey is there in the state of rest itself but what the monkey is doing the monkey drops from the tree simultaneously as the bullet releases that means the monkey is not in the state of rest but the monkey is not at m but dropped like a freely falling body dropped itself like a freely falling body like a 
freely falling body assuming that it can save itself from the bullet so in the same time what is the meaning of the same time is that is as bullet reaches bullet is actually supposed to go like this but it has missed it by a distance y as the bullet travels and where it reaches it is supposed to go like this but it has fallen this much of a distance vertically so bullet will be here right as the bullet travels in time t monkey also falls monkey falls how much monkey falls a vertical distance of half gt square from where i got this half gt square is equal to ut plus half at square monkey is not having any initial velocity ut is zero it's falling down therefore a equal to plus c so in a same time what we can notice is by the time the bullet who is being projected here will fall vertically and reach the point a this is the bullet and the monkey also falls vertically in the same time and reach the same point so the bullet will go and hit the monkey not at the top but somewhere in the path that means the monkey is going to get hit by the bullet or the bullet is going to hit the monkey bullet will hit the monkey monkey is not going to be saved rather it is being hit by the bullet so the, what's the best thing that the monkey has to do is it has to either stay there or it has to jump to a sideways direction but not to a vertically forward direction provided there is a sufficient long distance such that there is sufficient time for the all these